All right there, everyone. The Democrats officially fail in their attempts to impeach President Trump. That is what we'll be talking about on today's video. And I am just going to get right into this. Think back with me, if you will, back to uh, when we were leading up to the midterms last year. Do you remember that? Remember all we heard back then? All we heard was that if the Democrats won control of the House, Trump was toast. There was no way they were not going to impeach him. You remember that? Even before they took the House, even before, <laughs> even before Pelosi was Speaker, we were told that they were already busy drawing up plans to impeach the president, right? Even center-right outlets such as National Review were writing commentaries basically saying, well, see, we told you so. This is why we were never Trumpers. This was never, ever going to work. He wasn't fit for office. Democrats are going to take over and he's going to get impeached and he only has himself to blame, blah, 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 blah. Remember all that? What happened yesterday? After the uh, release of the Mueller report and his pathetic public statement after Trump's supposedly racist comments telling anti-American Democrats, you know, you may just want to go back to the third world countries of your origin if that's so great. After renewed calls from members of the squad, the ultra-left anti-American women like Ocasio-Cortez and Ilhan Omar to impeach the president. That's all we heard, right, from them the other day at their press conference. It is time to impeach this president. It is time to impeach this president. After all of that, after her interviews on Colbert and the other late night clowns programs where Pelosi promised, she promised, yes, the process to impeach this president is underway. You can count on it. After all of that, all the expectations, all the hype, all the media, as of yesterday, the vote to pursue impeaching this president utterly and completely collapsed on the House floor. Articles of impeachment were introduced on the House floor by the ultra-liberal Democrat Al Green. This was his third time trying to bring articles of impeachment before the floor. And when the resolution was voted upon, it went down in flames. The House voted 332 to 95 to table the resolution calling for the president's impeachment, which is another way of just saying that the resolution was crushed, okay? It was utterly and totally defeated. They weren't even going to debate it. Now, make no mistake, what happened yesterday was an admission. This failure, this crushing of any effort whatsoever to impeach this president, it was an admission. It was a confession, okay? It was an admission that the Democrats are simply panicked. They are panicked. And they're panicked because they simply don't know what on earth to do with Trump. I mean, think about it. What modern president has received what can even remotely be compared with the 24-7 negative media bombardment that this president's received? Now, maybe one. This president, over the last two and a half years, from the moment he was elected, this president has received nothing 24-7 negative coverage. Insulting, derogatory, defaming, maligning, impugning coverage by the corporatist, globalist, left-wing, cultural, Marxist media. And his poll numbers have gone up. The Democrats don't know what to do. His poll numbers have actually gone up in the midst of this massive media assault. Do you remember, it's several months back, during the whole Stormy Daniels and Russia collusion, you know, fiasco fabrication, right? You had uh, Trump's former lawyer, Michael Cohen, he pleaded guilty, while at around the same time as former chairman of his presidential campaign, uh, Manafort was given a bunch of guilty verdicts. Do you remember that? It was all followed by what was nothing short of an utter bombard, a media blitzkrieg against President Donald Trump. MSNBC used the term impeachment 200 times in a single day after all that happened. Okay, the mainstream outlets, mainstream media outlets bombarded him. They believed this was it. His presidency is finally crashing and burning. Do you remember all that? A full week of this stuff. And after all the smoke cleared from that media bombardment, to everyone's astonishment, Trump's poll numbers went up two to three points. 
His poll numbers went two up two to three points after that media bombardment after that week. You've just got to let that hit you. The Democrats and their willing accomplices in the mainstream media simply don't know what to do with this guy. Or think about the onslaught of the negative coverage that came after Charlottesville, right? This president is a racist bigot. There's a white supremacist in the Oval Office. That's what we heard. Every major mainstream media outlet said that Trump was a racist white uh, supremacist sympathizer. And his polls went up. Trade war with China. Oh, this is it. This is going to undo his presidency. Once consumers see how much this hurts them in the wallet, and his poll numbers go up. Look, oh, hey, hey, look over here. Hey, guys, look over here. We got a video of Trump hanging out with the convicted child predator, Jeffrey Epstein. Look, look. And his poll numbers go up. The Democrats in Washington and the corporatist media simply don't have any clue on how to handle this president. Uh, by the way, he just turned around and quadrupled down on all of this at his rally in Charlotte Did you last night. Did you see that? He brought up the lunatic left members of the squad, Ilhan Omar and the others, and Trump actually got the massive audience there to start chanting, send her back, send her back, send her back. I mean... You can't make this stuff up. And all the corporatist globalist media can do today is just give this pathetic whimper of coverage. The crowd, the crowd kept saying, send her back. I mean, this is racism. It's, it's the racism that's been unleashed on our country. Doesn't anyone care anymore? And of course, when CNN whines and whimpers, there's nobody there to listen since they've lost so many of their Viewers, we've done plenty of videos on that, right? More people are watching us YouTubers and are watching CNN. It's, it's glorious. But to make matters even worse, it's not just the fact that the Democrats have absolutely no idea what to do with Trump. They've thrown everything that they have at him. His poll numbers continue to rise. It's not only that, but as we talked about the other day, their poll, the Democratic poll, the AOC and Ilhan Omar, their poll numbers are abysmal. They're horrible. They're abysmal. They're horrible in their own districts, in the very districts that elected them, let alone national polls. Their constituents can't stand them. I mean, we talked about this the other day in the video. The Axios polling company did a survey in each of their districts. And AOC's favorability rating is an abysmal 22% in her very own district. Her unfavorability is 52%. Only 22% of her constituents that voted for have a favorable opinion of her. And it gets even worse for Ilhan Omar. All right, you ready? We talked about this yesterday. In her very own district, Ilhan Omar's favorability rating is an utterly embarrassing 9%. Percent. That's not a typo. 9% of her constituents have a favorable opinion of her. Make no mistake, the utter and complete embarrassing failure of Nancy Pelosi and the Democrats to impeach President Trump yesterday is an admission. They are admitting that they've thrown everything they have at him, all to no effect. And not only to no effect, but even their own poll numbers are collapsing in the process. Their failure was an admission that the rabid leftist wing of the Democratic Party is viewed infinitely more negatively among the American people than is President Trump. It's an admission that the Democrats are in total and complete disarray. It's an admission that the media has failed to do their job, which was to bring this president down after scandal after scandal. But more than anything else, the failure to impeach this president was an admission, a very clear and resounding admission that President Trump is winning and the Dems are losing. 
Now don't leave, you're gonna love a new video that I just put up this morning that analyzes the findings of a new British survey that show that anti-feminism is now officially more popular than feminism. So make sure to click on the screen to check out that video. It's gonna make your day. I'll see you over there. God bless.